In a small town lived a curious boy named Max. One day he stumbled upon a strange reflection, a reflection that looked just like him but wasn't him. It was a phenomenon that tickled his curiosity, a riddle that needed solving, a mystery that begged to be unraveled. Max was a boy of adventurous spirit, his heart filled with an insatiable thirst for knowledge. He dove headfirst into this conundrum, he read books, scoured the internet and talked to people. What he discovered was a term that seemed to have sprung from the pages of a supernatural novel, Doppelganger. A word of German origin, meaning double-goer, referring to a look-alike or a double of a living person. But these doubles were not related biologically. It was a concept that fascinated and intrigued Max. A question started to form in his mind, a question that was as captivating as it was compelling. Do I have a doppelganger? Max wondered. Is there someone out there who looks just like me yet shares no bloodline with me? The more he thought about it, the more Max was consumed by this question. It was like a puzzle piece that had been missing from his life, a piece that he was now determined to find. Max's curiosity turned into a resolve, a resolve to find his doppelganger. He was ready to embark on an adventure, an adventure that would take him beyond the familiar streets of his small town, beyond the comfortable boundaries of his known world. He was ready to dive into the unknown, ready to navigate the vast and diverse world, ready to find his double. With a twinkle in his eyes and a fire in his heart, Max looked at his reflection again. This time, it wasn't just a reflection. It was a challenge, a mission, a mission to find his mirror image living a different life in a different part of the world. Max, filled with determination says, I'll find my double, no matter where he is. And thus, began an extraordinary journey of a regular boy with an irregular mission. A journey that was about to change Max's life in ways he could never have imagined. With a backpack filled with essentials, Max sets off on his grand adventure. His heart is a flutter with anticipation, curiosity and a dash of fear. Yet, his resolve is unshakable. From the hustle and bustle of cosmopolitan cities to the tranquil serenity of rural landscapes, Max's journey is as diverse as the people he meets. Each person, each culture, adds a unique brushstroke to the canvas of his quest. Max learns about traditions steeped in centuries of heritage, about customs that resonate with the rhythm of the earth, and about practices that challenge his understanding of the world. He finds beauty in the unfamiliar, strength in diversity, and connections in the most unexpected places. His eyes sparkle with the thrill of new experiences, his mind brims with newfound knowledge, and his heart swells with the shared stories of strangers. As Max boarded the plane to his next destination, he thought, one step closer to finding him. Max, in his pursuit, found a companion, an AI assistant named Echo. Echo was more than just a tool or a guide, she had a personality that was engaging and witty, she was a friend. As Max traversed the globe, Echo was there, providing insights about the cultures they encountered, the languages they heard, and the people they met. Her vast database held information about every corner of the world, yet she delivered it in a way that was easy for Max to understand. Max and Echo faced numerous challenges together. From navigating bustling city streets to understanding complex cultural etiquettes, they relied on each other. Their bond grew stronger with every hurdle they overcame. Echo's artificial intelligence was designed to learn and adapt, and through their journey, she developed a deeper understanding of Max, his quest, and the world they were exploring. With Echo by his side, Max felt ready to face any obstacle, on his journey, Max met many interesting characters, each with their own stories. As he traveled from one place to another, Max encountered individuals of different cultures, each uniquely bound to his doppelganger. In the bustling streets of India, Max met a street artist whose mural bore a striking resemblance to him. The artist, intrigued by the likeness, shared tales of a boy who looked exactly like Max. He was a kindred spirit, who loved art as much as Max did, and had left a lasting impression on the community. This encounter made Max realize that his doppelganger was not just a mirror image, but a person with his own passions and dreams. 
In the serene landscapes of Japan, Max met a tea master who had once served his doppelganger. She spoke of the boy's respectful nature and his eagerness to learn about the art of tea ceremony. Through her story, Max discovered that his doppelganger was as curious and respectful as he was, a trait that transcended their distinct environments. In the vibrant markets of Morocco, Max met a spice vendor who remembered his doppelganger's love for exotic flavors. He recalled the joy in the boy's eyes as he sampled different spices, a joy that Max recognized in himself. This encounter showed Max that despite their different backgrounds, they shared an adventurous palette. With each encounter, Max's understanding of the world expanded. He marveled at the diversity of cultures, traditions, and people. Yet he also felt a profound sense of interconnectedness. His doppelganger, though living in a different part of the world, had touched the lives of these people in ways similar to how Max might have. They shared more than just physical appearance. They shared a spirit of curiosity, respect, and adventure. As he listened to their stories, Max realized how diverse yet connected the world was. These encounters were not merely steps in his search for his doppelganger, but were lessons about the beautiful complexity and unity of the world around him. After months of searching, Max finally found himself in a small African village, face to face with Leo. This was the moment they had both been waiting for, a chance to finally meet their mirror image from across the globe. There was a brief moment of silence as they took in each other's appearance, their identical features reflecting back at them. It was an uncanny and surreal experience, yet filled with a profound sense of connection. Despite the miles that separated them, Max and Leo discovered they shared more than just their looks. They found common ground in their curiosity, their sense of adventure, and their love for football. Each had a favorite team, and it was amusing to find out they were rival teams. They laughed, their voices echoing in the open air, creating a symphony of familiarity in a land that was foreign to Max. As they spent the day together, they shared stories about their lives. Max spoke about his bustling city life, his school, his friends, and his journey to find Leo. Leo, in turn, shared his experiences of living in a close-knit community, the village traditions, the wildlife he encountered, and his dreams of traveling the world. Their stories were as diverse as their environments, yet they found a common thread in their shared human experiences. The sun began to set, casting long shadows and bathing the village in a warm golden hue. Max and Leo sat quietly reflecting on their day. They had found a connection that transcended their geographical boundaries, a bond formed by shared experiences and mirrored identities. In Leo, Max found a part of himself he never knew existed, a part that resonated with the rhythm of a different culture, a different way of life. And in Max, Leo found a window to a world beyond his village, a world he had only dreamed of exploring. As the day ended, Max looked at Leo and thought, we may be from different worlds, but we're not so different after all. The journey to find his doppelganger had led Max not just to Leo, but also to a deeper understanding of himself and the world. Filled with newfound knowledge and a sense of belonging, Max returns home. The journey had been long and full of wonder, but the familiar sights and sounds of his neighborhood greeted him like a warm blanket. Max's family and friends eagerly gathered around, their faces lighting up as they saw the boy they knew and loved, now changed in subtle yet profound ways. His eyes sparkled with the wisdom of his experiences, his smile radiating a newfound understanding of the world. He began to share his stories, his words painting vivid pictures of the people he'd met and the cultures he'd experienced. Each tale was a testament to the rich tapestry of human life, a celebration of our shared existence. He spoke of the bustling streets of distant cities and the tranquil serenity of remote villages. He shared about the unique traditions he'd witnessed, the beautiful languages he'd heard, and the unforgettable flavors he'd tasted. But the story that resonated the most was his encounter with Leo, his doppelganger. Max described how, despite their different backgrounds, they had found a deep connection, a bond that transcended geographical boundaries. His friends listened in awe, 
their minds buzzing with the realization that our world is much larger, much more diverse, and yet, much more interconnected than they had ever imagined. Max's return was not just a homecoming, but an awakening for his community. His journey had shown them the beauty of diversity and the power of connection. It had inspired them to look beyond their own experiences, to appreciate the vast array of human life and to recognize the common threads that bind us all together. As Max hugged his family, he knew he had not just found his